Tonight, an exclusive ABC 15 investigation. A Phoenix school worker spending weeks and hundreds of dollars trying to clear her name. I've gone to court four times and had to take four days off of work. I've spent over $500 um, with court fees, taking classes, ordering new IDs. She was arrested for DUI, but tests showed she wasn't drunk or high. She was tired and anxious. Now she's frustrated and angry. ABC 15 investigator Melissa Blasius finds out how this could happen to anybody. It began as a late night food run, tacos after 12. Ariel Berry was in the driver's seat as her boyfriend next to her gave directions. When this cop came out of nowhere, it started screaming at me on an intercom to pull over. She did in this parking lot near Camelback and 3rd Avenue. And I was completely shocked. I was really scared. Phoenix officer Steve Reeves approached the car. He's a trained drug recognition expert, a DRE. Remember that it'll be important later. I immediately said, officer, what have I done wrong? And he shined a light and he had a very big attitude. He's like, what did you do wrong? And I was like, whoa, OK. Officer Reeves ticketed Ariel for an unsafe lane change, an improper turn and a red light violation. She did not make a complete stop before turning right on red. But the officer immediately suspected more, noting a faint odor of alcohol. He took my license on the spot. He took my phone. He took my purse. All I'm wearing is PJs. I don't even have a bra on. I'm doing this the whole time because I'm very uncomfortable. That night she told the officer she had severe anxiety of men and cops. The officer notes it nine times in his brief report. He also wrote about having a hard time getting her to complete the roadside sobriety test. It was a really awful experience. Ariel admitted she had a sake earlier, so it didn't surprise her when the breathalyzer read 0.02, but that's well below the legal driving limit of 0.08. Per Phoenix police policy, officers can't even arrest you if you blow less than a 0.05 unless drug intoxication is suspected. He repeatedly asked me, are you on drugs? Have you been taking off uh, pill prescriptions? And I said, officer, I have never done drugs in my life. Um, I am just very tired. It is the middle of the night. Um, I am scared of you because you are a man and you have a gun and I don't have anything of protection. You don't have a body camera, so there's no proof what does and doesn't happen tonight. Here's what did happen. Ariel was arrested for both DUI, drugs and alcohol. He repeated, I'm really good at my job. I have a 98% accuracy rate. I know what I'm doing. And I said, officer, that's fine and dandy, sir, but you are wrong. When Ariel's blood test did come back, it showed zero drugs and a barely there 0.01 blood alcohol level. How often do people get arrested for DUI when they're sober. It's not super common. Defense attorney Russ Richelsoff is not affiliated with this case, but he has other clients with bad DUI busts, and he says officers get tunnel vision. Having an anxiety attack while driving, that's not a crime. Um, being tired while driving, um, that's not a crime. And, and both of those things can exhibit symptoms that to a police officer who's only looking for DUIs will look like a DUI. But there is an immediate test designed to specifically look for drug intoxication, a 12-step drug recognition exam. But Ariel says that 12-step exam was never conducted. It's unclear why. And that's strange because remember I told you that Officer Reeves is a DRE, a drug recognition expert. He's one of just 300 officers in the state who have undergone weeks of training on specifically how to administer that drug exam. Phoenix police won't comment about the case because Ariel has filed a complaint against their department. It took her nearly two months to get the DUI charges dropped and her criminal case closed. Ariel says she's still upset, but does not want the officer to get in trouble. She just wants more training for police, like she gets as an educator. Shouldn't you approach people kindly? Because irrelevant of why you're pulling them over, you're the one with all the power. I'm investigator Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona. Still to come at 10,